Well, hello, it's Miss Leslie with Storytime again, and we are reading You Have a Pet What? Pygmy Goat by Karen Latchin Kinney. I can't imagine having a goat as a pet. Can you? What would you do with it? All right, so we got a table of contents, so we know it's a little sciencey, right? So happy kids. It is morning on the farm and two young pygmy goats are ready for some fun. The cute kids jump onto a tree stump, wagging their tails. Then they hop off, kicking their legs high in the air. So they call baby goats, they call them kids. So maybe I'll start calling you guys my baby goats. Hmm. Fun fact, kids just practice headbutting, but for adults, headbutting shows strength and power in a herd. Hmm. They stand up on their hind legs. They fall forward and butt heads, but the kids aren't hurt. They're just playing. Hmm. Pygmy goats love to play and explore. Their cute looks, small size, and playful personalities make them popular pets. So I guess you really have to have more than one of them because who are they going to headbutt with? What if they headbutted you? Um, pet pygmy goats come from breeders, but this small animal originally came from West Africa. Hmm. A pygmy goat is a domesticated animal. So that means that um, we bred them so much that they are now only really live in, with humans. They don't live in the wild, mostly like cats. Its distinct relative is the wild bazaar goat. People train wild goats to tame over thousands of years. That's how they become farm animals. So they're all tamed by people. So fun fact, goats can live 10 to 14 years and the oldest goat lived more than 22 years. The pygmy goat is also called the Cameroon dwarf goat. It comes from the country of Cameroon. Oh, Cameroon. Cam uh, her herds are now in many parts of West Africa. In South Africa, the pygmy goat is raised mostly for its meat, but it also makes milk. The first pygmy goats to leave Africa went to zoos in Sweden and Germany. They first came to the United States in 1959. So that's where they come from. Pygmy goats, head to toe. So we've got horns, we've got thick hair, tough teeth, and unusual eyes. I wonder what makes their eyes so unusual. What's so cute about pygmy goats? They're not just tiny. They have short legs, a big forehead, a large round body. They look like baby goats, even as adults. They grow just 16 to 22 inches. So 41 to 56 centimeters tall. That's about the size of a dog. A small mammal also has many other unique features. So there's the little hooves, and that's his tail. So the horns, right up here. Two bony horns grow from a pygmy goat's head. Horns help keep goats cool by letting off body heat. I didn't know that. Goats also protect themselves from predators with their horns, so they're headbutton with these things. Whew. Thick hair. Pygmy goats have medium to long straight hair. It gets thicker in colder areas or seasons. Males have long fur beards and a mane. Oh, that's why you always see goats with beards. Um, hooves. Hard hooves have two toes. Ooh. Hooves make pygmy goats great climbers. The tail, its short tail sticks up and wags back and forth. Cute. Tough teeth. Pygmy goats chew a lot of tough plants. They have grinding teeth in the back of their mouth and at the front they have two teeth in their lower bottom jaw. Oh. The top jaw just has a hard gums in the front. <gasps> That's why goats look so weird with the her <laughs> her. Unusual eyes. A goat's eye pupils aren't round, they're rectangular. This lets them see far at the sides of their head while eating plants on the ground. Huh. So you could never, if you had a pygmy goat as a teacher, they would always see you cheating. Pet pygmies. Why would you pick a goat as a pet? I don't know. Uh, pygmy goats have unique playful personalities. They're easy to care for and they get along well with people and other animals. Some owners walk their pygmy pet goats on leashes just like dogs. 
these pets bond well with owners. They love to cuddle. Even Some even sit in their owner's laps. Nigerian dwarf goats. They can, you can choose another kind of miniature goat as a pet. A Nigerian dwarf goat is cute too. It looks like a regular goat, just much smaller. It is a dairy goat, which means it needs to be milked at least twice a day. Ooh, that's a lot of responsibility. Some Nigerian dwarf goats have splotchy spots or large stripes. Okay, so we got different colorations. That's pretty cool. Oh, their eyes look creepy. Look at their eyes. Piercing blue. Oof, I don't want to wake up to that. Playful goats should live outdoors. They need space to roam with plants and sticks to nibble on. Before you decide to make a pygmy goat is right for you, make sure you allow you are allowed where you live. All right, so most of us cannot have pygmy goats. Um, check your local government office to find out if there are any restrictions. Pet pointers. It is a good idea to talk to your neighbors before deciding to make pygmy goats part of your family. Goats can be noisy. Some people don't like the smell or sounds goat makes. Yeah, I don't think I would want to live next to someone with goats. Her, these herd animals need to live with other goats, so it's best to get at least two. If you have other animals, that, that helps too. They can keep your pygmy goat company. Your pet is will be much happier, so you definitely need a pack. You can't just get one. You may want to pick female pygmies. Males can be harder to care for. They pee on their legs and beards. Ew. Uh, they try to attract females, and then they can be a little smelly. But a neutered male mixes well with female goats, and it doesn't try to attract them. I don't want a goat smelling like pee, thank you. Horns can be a problem too. Pygmy goats may get excited and accidentally poke you, causing a serious injury. Goats can also destroy fences. Some owners choose to remove their pet's horns. This is called disbudding, which must be done when pygmy goats are only two weeks old. I don't think I agree with that. Like you're getting a goat, you want a goat. Why would you take off its horns? You don't need to cuddle a goat then. Uh, you can buy a pygmy goat from a breeder. Ask the breeder about the goat's health and find out about what vaccination it has had. A goat rescue farm is another great option. That is a great option. These goats may have been neglected or abused or other owners couldn't afford to keep them. Adopt a pygmy goat to give it a new chance at having a happy home. Pet pointers. You can take your pygmy goat home when it is 12 to 14 weeks old. Make sure it looks healthy. It should have bright eyes and be alert, and its tail should be sticking up. Um, a pigora is a mix of pygmy goat and angora goat. It is bred for its coat, which is full and curly. That's a cutie pie. So they'll shave off their hair, which doesn't hurt the goat at all, and then they'll make they'll use that uh, wool to make fabrics. Caring for your pygmy, your pet pygmy. Pygmy goats need a big area enclosed by a good fence. Goats are great at escaping. Build a fence at least four feet tall. Use wooden post and wire mesh. Your pet pygmy needs a dry, draft-free outdoor shelter that lets in fresh air. Solid wood is best. Goats like to chew on things and chemicals might be on in other materials. Oh, that's good advice. A six by eight foot shed fits two pygmy goats. Line the floor with straw or wood shavings. A bench makes a nice bed for a pygmy goat. Put a concrete or paved area by the shed. Oh, put a pump. Ugh. Put a concrete or paved area by the shed. Pygmy goats don't like to get muddy, but they can stand on a hard area to stay dry and clean. Okay, a little bougie. Okay, I like it. A healthy diet. A pygmy goat is a vegetarian. It eats mostly grass and alfalfa hay. Goats also forage for food, so they're chewing on tree bark, brush, and dry leaves and weeds. Goats foraging, they're looking for their food. Make sure their home is free of poisonous plants. Tulips, acorns, and oak trees are a few things that can poison goats. Oh, wow. 
these clean animals like their food to be clean too. Never put it on the ground. Make a raised eating area for your pets. Uh, hang a feed bag for, from a fence or build a feeder that keeps food off the ground. Make sure your pets have fresh, clean water every day. Pet pointers. You may need to give your pet extra vitamins or minerals depending on where you live. These nutrients might be missing from the hay. Check with your veterinarian. Please do not feed the pygmy goats. They are on a special diet. Um, goats are ruminants. This means they have four stomachs, which breaks down the plants they eat. Goats chew and swallow food, bring it back up and chew once more and swallow it again. And then it moves through their stomach. Okay. The pygmy goat hooves grow like fingernails. They need to be trimmed every four to six weeks. If they get too long, your goat will limp and all its feet will hurt. It might get hoof rot and infection of the hooves. Use hoof trimmers to make hooves flat. So you're getting a pen here and look at that. Uh, does your goat look sick? Is it thin? Is it coughing? It might have worms in its intestines. That's common in goats. You need a good veterinarian for your pet. Make sure your pet gets the vaccinations and care it needs to stay healthy. Pet pointers. Sometimes goats eat too much grain or spring grass, which can lead to bloat. This is a buildup of gases in its stomach. Your goat's left side will bulge. It's very serious. Without treatment, bloat could kill your pet. It's a lot of work to take care of a goat. It is not, if it is not used to people, a pygmy goat can be a nervous pet. Spend as much time as you can with your goats. This is especially important if you're first bringing them home. Try quietly reading a book to your goats. Take them into the shed at night and put them to bed. Bring them some hay to eat. Pet your new friends. They will start to know you and this they will be comfortable around other people too. One of the best parts about being a pygmy goat owner is watching your pets play. Make, make them a playground. Give your goats lots of things to climb up, jump off, and run around. Old tractor tires and logs are great. Make a teeter-totter with a board and a log. A trampoline is fun too. Make sure the springs are covered so your goats won't hurt their legs. So they really are just playful little kids, huh? Teach your pets some simple tricks. Train them to shake hands, spin in a circle, or weave between your legs. Give your goats healthy treats as a reward. Pet pointers, healthy goat treats include raisins, popped popcorn, sunflower seeds, chopped apples and pears. Pygmy goats make wonderful pets. They're always curious and playful. They are always, what are they? They are loving friends to other animals and people, and they are fun to watch. Give your pygmy goats enough space to roam. Build them a nice home and they'll be your new best friends. Things to think about if you want a pygmy goat. Pygmy goats can be noisy and smelly. Your neighbors might not like living next door. Different cities and states have laws about keeping pygmy goats. Make sure it is okay where you live. You need to own at least two pygmy goats. They do not do well as single pets. It is important to have a space outside for your pets. Pygmy goats need a dry shelter and fenced area to roam. Owners should trim their goats' hooves every four to six weeks. And that is that on that. I do not know if I would like to have a pygmy goat. That's a lot of work and you'd have to have a lot of them. But they are cute. What do you guys think? Hmm. So make sure you are subscribing to our Youth Guidance YouTube channel because we are posting all of our videos on there too because we have it on Facebook, TikTok, um, Instagram, and our website. And we have Twitter too. So all of the links will be found in the links above or below. So subscribe so you'll see more of us. Until next time, bye.